Hey, yo, what up, everybody? Welcome to the Scotty Show. Today, I have a very special guest from Seraphim, our cutie, man. How you doing, man? Good, man. I'm glad to be here. I'm so happy you asked me to come. Man. Yeah, man. Uh, Dude, for people that don't know who our cutie is, man, who is our cutie? I'm like, I don't know. I just like making music in my basement. I like, uh, I do everything like top to bottom. I make like alternative, like kind of pop rock, like, pop punk type music yeah i'm a mix engineer i'm an event dj sometimes i do like bar mitzvahs (laughs) that's fire yeah no it's mad fun (laughs) that's fire uh but yeah i'm a member of seraphim i don't know i i just make music i like do little artistic things and stuff like that hell yeah yeah dude so um like when i first like listened to your music man like number one the thing one of the things that points out is like nostalgia yeah, and, they, <laughs> yeah, dude. It makes me feel like, uh, like, uh, man, I forgot the band that made that. Uh, it goes like, like I oh, um, fucking, oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, me yeah, um, you're on my side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah cause I used to listen <laughs> yeah, to it, like, yeah. yeah, cause like, even though I was listening to like rap and shit, like, I was still fucking with like, you know, some rock band, some pop punk shit, yeah, and some that, punk that, stuff. That, a lot of that was on, still on the radio. I don't know how old you are. I'm 24. I'm, so I'm 26. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or it's so like, you know, like 2005 to like 2009. Like a lot of MTV was like Simple Plan, like fucking like 182. Like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. like that's like the music I grew up on. I was like a skater, like parking lot kids. So like. Yeah. That's, like, that's yeah. how I got into that music because I used to like, you know, live like around like the hood. And then my parents got, you know, got some money. My mom graduated from college and shit like that. We moved out the hood. Right. And then like the next thing you know, I'm growing up. I'm 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 living around skateboard kids and shit. Yeah. Now you're with <laughs> the suburban angst. So that's what <laughs> Yeah, yeah, bro. No, nah, yeah, dude. Like, like uh when did you get into music and like uh how did you know that you were like good at it and that this is what you wanted to do? So like my dad always was super into music like like he he's he was born in like 1960 so like he was mm-hmm. in like pink floyd and like all stuff like that like led zeppelin and shit and like he yeah. showed me like all that like the beatles yeah. and stuff and i was like always into that and like i was always listening to the radio and then that's how and i have two older brothers too so they like really showed me like a lot of the music that like i really banked on like since that mm-hmm. so like all, all every all kinds of punk music like everything we would just sit on LimeWire and just like download a bunch of random Hell songs. Yeah, Lime, like, Lime Wire days was lit. Yeah, it was awesome. Like I just found so much shit. Like I got really into like ska music, like Catch 22 and like Streetlight Manifesto stuff, like mm. Less Than Jake. And just like any sort of like angsty punk music I could find, I was really into it. Yeah. Like yeah. from when I was like a young kid. So because I always wanted to like be older. I always wanted to chill with the older kids, hang out with yeah. my brothers and stuff like that. So yeah. like this is the stuff that they were listening to. This is like the like you know the teenage like like feeling and shit like that and i'm like mm-hmm. yeah like since i was like i don't know like five i was into that shit <laughs> like, yeah yeah so i always really loved music and then i started playing guitar when i was like seven mm. because there was a bunch of different reasons like i just thought guitar was really cool mm. and like girls liked it like i i used to watch uh drake and josh and like, drake, <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, bro. yeah drake bell got all the girls because yeah, yeah. guitar was in a band i'm like that i want to do that i'm like that's me <laughs> so like, <laughs> So yeah, I started taking lessons when I was like seven for like two years and I just played since then. And I just like always played and like sang and shit. Didn't really like do any gigs that much or anything mm-hmm. all throughout like high school. And then I went to college, still playing music. And like, I, I like went to school for like computer science. So I'm good with computer stuff. Mm-hmm. So like, but like, I would always say, I'm like, yeah, I'm doing this, but like, I really want to do something with music. And I would just always say that and just literally not do anything about, about mm-hmm. it. Like, yeah. And then one day, like, I, like, got sick of college. Like, like I liked what I did and stuff, but, like, I just, like, the pressure was just really getting to me at one point, like, my senior year. And I got, like, a gig as an intern at a studio. And I had just, like, hit a big sports bet. Like, I hit, like, a 19 parlay to win, like, $500. And I was, like, screw it, man. I'm, buy- I'm buying an interface. Like, I'm getting an FL Studio cracked, obviously. <laughs> so, yeah. So I- and I just worked in a studio for a while. And then, yeah, it all kind of just came together. It's pretty wild. Um, and, yeah. Dude, that's crazy because, like, uh, especially, like, like, getting into, like, uh, we're talking about, like, 2005 to 2009. Like, yeah. 
one of the one of the things that got me really into like punk and uh like uh like the screamo stuff and like the band him like li- yeah. watching like bro bro watching viva la bam bro yeah yeah that was, like, that was like one of the biggest influences on me bro yeah like yeah, like oh i was God. like dang bro i love this music like no 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 yeah yeah and yeah, like they're yeah. so cool like they're doing all this shit you're like yeah hell yeah man like, yeah, yeah yeah like and then like just watching like wild boys and uh watching exactly. uh, yeah, yeah, like that the is like jackass you know, ecosystem, like yeah, just, like, yeah, that, was was crazy. Yeah, and so uh, when did you, you know, join uh, like Sarah from? How did that come about? I was one of the original members. Okay, um, me, me, Charlie, and J- I didn't really know Jamie that well, but Charlie knew her, and me and Charlie knew each other because we were mutual friends with Levels. Shouts out Levels, mm-hmm. who yeah, who was the best, and like. We kind of linked in like a group chat that level set up, and then they started Seraphim, and I wasn't really like down with the whole like collective stuff like at all. Mm-hmm. Like I was pretty against it. I'm like very hands off like even the scene in general. I just don't like being like too in the sh- in, in, like in the mix of stuff because I yeah, feel like yeah. there's something going on that I got to worry about and like mm-hmm. have an opinion on. And I just don't care. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, yeah. So like, but Charlie asked me, and Charlie's a good dude. Charlie's a man. And I was like, yeah, whatever. I trust you. Like, it'll be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah that's it's been the best. Like, so all of Seraphim's like the best people ever. Like, it's so sick. Yeah, and like one thing that I've noticed about like you know Seraphim, um, I feel like y'all have you know one of the most like diverse groups because. Like the way I got hip to your stuff, I I, I think either Charlie or I think uh, yeah okay uh, uh, retweeted that video that you had uh, you had posted, and I was uh, like yeah. yo this is some American pie shout out fucking yeah with you, yeah <laughs> yeah I, I was like this is fire because a lot of people you know try to like bro like I like and like and this is like because I'm a big like uh, I'm a big little peep fan, and yeah. a lot of people try to like replicate like little peeps like sound and they don't want to be original your shit is original and like people that always like try to like do like that sound i'd be like bro you like like stop doing it but you yeah. i'm like bro you got your own like shit so, like you're, you're super original bro yeah, like i'm like there's no all. like i was like damn bro he's not faking the funk bro and like, yeah. i can tell I can <laughs> yeah because this, this is the shit i grew up on like this is yeah, like yeah. always the shit i listen to anyway but the stuff with like the little peep like all pop stuff and like even juice world had a hand in it like mm-hmm. alternative got cool again because of them, right? Which is sick. yeah, yeah. And then, but people are like, they they were they were making music deriving from a culture and doing it well, like a, a cult, like a like you know skate suburbanite kids, mm-hmm. like like all like pop punk stuff, like kind of taking that voice away from it, and they made their own stuff. So like people pulling from Lil Peep and Juice World stuff are replicating a culture that from like a second degree that they don't really know about, and even yeah. then, before those like pop punk there was like regular there's all there's a huge history of it so like yeah it kind of recommodifies itself and then like like labels see it and they're like okay we just have to have like a dude with a whiny voice and like uh, uh, like electric guitars and stuff yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. and you know like it's just corny and like people eat it up whatever like you like what you like i don't care but like you're right you can see I think like, it's a lot corny. Of, i'm like it's, bro, corny. Bro, it's so you. corny <laughs> bro no bro it's corny as hell because yeah. like i like, my thing is, is why, why are you keep on? And I feel like it kills Lil Peep's like legacy oh, and what he actually did yeah, when people 100%. keep on trying to replicate it. I'm like, stop! It, it was what it was. Yeah, yeah. Like, let it be. Let it just be that. Like, stop trying to like you know, like be be creative, be original, and like yeah. that's why I like your shit because like it's, it's just super original. Thank and you, like yeah. I could tell it comes from a like when I was listening to it. That's why I was like, damn, bro, this sounds like like a, my my brain like flared. Bro, I was like, oh <laughs> shit. I was like, I was just like watching like the visuals and everything. I was like, bro, this is the most original like content from a guy that you know, because people be like doing like the whole guitar shit and then be coming off like super cringy. I yeah, was, like, it's corny. Shit. I was like, you this have ain't to, you have to toe the line. You gotta toe the line because it's, yeah, it's yeah. very easy to be cringe. Like, and like I'm very try, I'm very self conscious about being being seen as cringe, right? <laughs> like so, yeah. like so, I'm like, I'm like, okay, well, like, I could pull from all all the stuff. Like all my shit's derivative, obviously. Like I'm pulling from all the different artists that I've listened to my whole life but like you can make, still make it your own right you can put yourself mm-hmm. into it and like make sure it's not corny or like at least make lyrics that aren't lame as fuck like yeah <laughs> like, 
like all like, like being like fake sad, like like yeah, making like yeah. fake sad lyrics. I'm like, bro, if you're not really sad, stop making like you know sad yeah. shit. But There's if you no are, I mean, make it. But like, if you're like doing it to, I, I, what I feel like is that like uh, we're a lot of you can just see right through. Like it, it's yeah, sad. yeah. yeah. I, I feel like we're just at a point to where so many people see uh, making music as a as an NFT or as a crypto. Yeah, they like, want everyone wants to. Bro, people that don't like, and I'm sorry to say this, but there's people that you that that really don't have a talent for music. They just want to do it to see if they can get money off of it and get rich off of it. They yeah, want to buy right. playlist placements. They want to buy SoundCloud reposts yeah. and stuff like that. Exactly. And like, I feel like it's just watering down the music, and uh, and that's why I feel like you know we that's why we have like this whole like um. I, I think it's like a whole new like subculture and like subgenre of you know how we have like. Rappers saying that they're rock stars now, like Cardi and Uzi and shit like that. I'm like, yeah. bro, these people aren't punk. These people aren't like. There's nothing punk about them. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, bro, they're just like you know copying yeah. the shit and like yeah, no they, shit. They just know them. it sells. Like they just know yeah. it sells. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, it just looks cool. Like and and like, I I I love like uh you know people people like to claim punk and stuff like that, but they don't know what black they don't know about black flag they don't know about yeah exactly yeah, bro, like they can't they can't name no they can't name like no real like songs or like no real like no real shit. I'm just like yeah. bro, just like how do you feel about like where like the sound and everything is going now? Because I feel like there's not a lot of like original sounds that like that you have you know that actually like you know sound like that like that real like that real shit. So like where do you think the sound is going? It's like. So the thing, what's 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 cool and sucks about music having such a low barrier of entry now, like anybody could make a song on their computer, like it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It's like a lot more shit, like bad shit is gonna come out, bro. It, yeah. it, the the thing is, like I like this is how I look at it. Like at least it like more shits being made to like maybe slowly push good things and then like out better. Like maybe someone who makes a really sick song maybe i couldn't 20 years ago right yeah so like one good song is is worth the fucking thousand shitty ones right yeah, yeah. to me at least yeah but like you know you just have to know it's a lot harder to find the good stuff now but like mm -hmm. so there's like really good like heart attack man is like a really good new like pop punk band that's out and fucking uh like honestly i'm not kept up with music anymore like anything new coming out because like i just like jump around all the shit like i like cycle through like a million genres like over a year yeah. and i just go through the same stuff again but like, mm -hmm. there's still stuff like sh cool shit that i find like it's there definitely yeah yeah no i like the like I, I feel like the same way i feel like uh since music is easily accessible um to everyone and i feel like people are looking at being an artist as like a meme or like yeah yeah, yeah. and i'm just like bro it's not a meme like yeah. people are there's people that are actually talented that pour their like you know like blood sweat and tears and like you know experience into making a song and um i feel like it's becoming a meme because you know social media you gotta people have like the look like, yeah, I'm like you gotta please like, the well, algorithm well, when, people, <laughs> when people say I want to look punk or I want to look like a rapper or whatever, I'm just like, bro, that's just mad corny and it's making like the whole like yeah. thing just seem like a fucking meme. Like, oh, you want to look like a rapper? Like, it, it, and it's I don't know. It's just taking like the uh, the validity, you know, uh, from like the artists that are actually good, you know. Yeah. And uh, man, yeah, it really does suck. Well, I, well, from for me at least, my bad. I cut you off. Oh, you go ahead. You go ahead. For, for me at least, like, I, like, was pissed about it for, like, a long time. Like, I started, like, actually releasing music probably, like, over three years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. And, but, like, you know, you like, I just learned to stop being so cynical and just, like, kind of fucking drown, like, let my, let go of the ego part of it of, like, oh, they're invalidating me as an artist. Yeah. Like, I shouldn't have to feel validated and I don't care if I'm validated anymore. And I get it, like, if you're pissed about it, like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, like it's cool to feel like a uh, connection to the image that you like believe that you're putting on and truly believe in. You see someone else doing it and even getting more fucking plays even though they suck. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's it's nothing you should really stress about because there's no material like good thing that's going to come out about that. Like, it's cool to be like, yeah, that, that shit sucks. But like, I, I do that about fucking everything. <laughs> like, yeah, but, like, yeah. but like, I don't know, I learned just to care less, kind of let it go. I'm just jaded, probably, so I don't know if it's good or not. <laughs> like, Bro, I, I really don't think that, like, I think, um, 
I just think we need to stop doing these these playlists. I think like because uh, now we're getting to a point where you can pay a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars to get yeah. on a big playlist now. Yeah, so like let's just long. say let's just say you know you're in a you're in like these like uh, like a collective or like a band or whatever, and like let's just say the band ain't good, but they just fork up they all fork like oh we're gonna just save a thousand dollars and then we're just gonna put put get put on this playlist or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And like then next thing you know, they could blow up and they have no connection to the culture. Yeah. And then you're getting and then you could pay for a playlist on some like because like this is how I broke it down. Cause like Spotify, you can have your own playlist and like people follow you on Spotify. So you can yeah. you don't even have to be famous. You could just be someone that's important on Instagram. Yeah, you could just curate it and not really contribute anything at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like like you can have no connection to the scene whatsoever. And you can just you can just let anyone pay you. Yeah, and I feel like that's how the hand. algorithms and stuff get drowned out. Yeah. And, and now yeah. you have you, even though you have no connection to the scene, like you have a hand in what is seen as the scene by like people who are outside of it. Like you, right? And that's what you I have, hate the they most. They have it in their hand. Yeah, it, it's it, it's annoying. Definitely, it just yeah. it it just makes it like everything a lot harder. But like, yeah, you just have to kind of sit back and like that's where the money is. That's yeah, yeah. how Spotify is making all their money. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, and they're the ones that really like make sure everything gets seen by a bunch of people. And it doesn't yeah, matter, like you said, it doesn't matter if it's fucking good or not. But like, all you need is eyeballs. All you need is attention. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. if your shit's good or not. So if you yeah. pay a bunch of money to get any sort of attention to your shit, like you're gonna get paid for it, like no matter what. So like, that's what yeah. sucks. <laughs> who um who are you listening to right now? What kind of inspiration do you draw from when you're making new music? right now like I, I i jump around i jump through like i have, like a bunch of shit that i will just like revisit all the time and i just mm -hmm. like will forget about how good it is and then just like keep going jumping back from that nostalgia like yeah, i'll go yeah, back yeah. to like oh yeah like right now i'm listening to a lot of like early ass book 82 like cheshire cat era like 1993 book 82 where mm -hmm. like they sound like shit and like it's just like really fast like like mm -hmm. a lot less poppy from everything else in it yeah, yeah, i'm yeah. like this is fucking that awesome. And like a lot of it's just nostalgia shit for me because I listen to that stuff all the time. Yeah. You remember Green Day? Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh yeah, my I remember God. I went I seen Green Day live, bro. That shit was crazy. Oh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. American Idiot was like like life. Bro, that shit Funny was people. fire when I seen that yeah. shit in person, bro. Yeah, I can't yeah, imagine. Yeah. But yeah, that like fucking my chemical romance, like Helena, um, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, their album before uh Black Parade mm. was like one of the first CDs I ever bought. Like when I was like like six probably five or six yeah. and like that shit like like something about the helena video especially like really like got me i was like yeah now nah, this is like how i want to portray myself for the rest of my life <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Uh, armor for sleep is another band that like really like spoke to me when i was a kid it's funny because like i like latched on to all these ideas like before i was 10 years old probably so mm -hmm. like, I was just like, yeah, this is it. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna grow anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, yeah. Um, who who would be like a uh, you know like a dream collab for you? Oh shit, I don't know. Because I can't say Travis Barker anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, because he's on Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he, Tra, yeah, Travis Barker is one of the greatest producers and drummers like of our generation. Yeah. But he also platformed fucking Young Blood and MDK, and, and like so I, mean, I can't forgive it. I don't know. Matt Skiba is um the lead singer of my favorite band, Alkaline Trio. They're like mm -hmm. from Chicago. They're like they're they're like easily my favorite band of all time. Yeah, and he actually replaced Tom and Blink when Tom left Blink. Mm -hmm. So like those are my two favorite bands. Really, it's Alkaline Trio one and two. So that was like a dream come true. So I, be, I bet Matt Skiba, collabing with Matt Skiba would be insane. All this solo stuff is still fucking sick. So <laughs> That's fire. Yeah. Nah, he's really sick. Um, are there uh, any, uh, like, who who would you say um, do you think is going to be like a game changer in the future for music? Oh. Uh, you could even say yourself. But, uh, no, I don't think I'm, I'm doing anything to push anything that hard. I just made cool music that already existed. But, but, uh, so, but I think fucking Jamie and Charlie are doing insane things that I've never heard before, genuinely. I mean, I, I like, all of Seraphim's really, like, doing really cool shit. Yeah. But, like, yeah, from that, like, starting now to, like, looking off into the future perspective, definitely them. Um, 
I don't even know. I don't pay attention anymore. I really should. I know. You no, know, like, it's hard. I, to I, I get what up. you're saying though, because it's so it's so like it's became like so repetitive that yeah. like like the desire to even like um search for like uh it's not to, like keep up with the scene is like it's not like that desire no more because of how drowned out it is. Yeah. And I feel like the whole uh um, the sound since the SoundCloud rap era, like quote unquote, died. I don't think SoundCloud is dead. I think yeah, that it's watered down, though. It's yeah, yeah, it's watered, it's watered down. down. <laughs> Pay, paying for SoundCloud reposts kills SoundCloud. Um, yeah. there's, there's a lot of different things that like kill SoundCloud and stuff. Yeah, and SoundCloud stuff like is a company. They 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 change a lot of shit. That like I used to scroll on SoundCloud because like I didn't always just listen to music. I listened to everything like forever. Especially, yeah, yeah. Like, when I was like uh going to college and stuff. Like, I was listening to, like, a lot of, like, drill music and shit. Like, Lil Dirk, Sound of the Streets 2 was, like, one of my fucking favorite mixtapes ever. Oh, yeah. Like, and we found out on SoundCloud, and we're just, like, me and my friends are, like, holy fucking shit. Like, mm. <laughs> so yeah. we just, like, go through SoundCloud and just fucking find all this shit. And we'd always be trading songs and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah back then, SoundCloud was anymore. lit. Yeah, and it's, that's just not it. That doesn't happen anymore. Like, you don't need yeah. to talk that that easily anymore. And it's so crazy, like how, like that, just like how SoundCloud, just like, like I don't want to say it died, but like, like I said, like just watered down just a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's crazy how, same. like, how Something fast that happened. Too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, crazy yeah. how fast that happened, man. I'm trying um, to think who even like was like the last like. I want to say like SoundCloud wise that like actually someone who just like started up on SoundCloud and like became huge was SXS and Tashi Ono probably. Yeah, it's like the last, very last person. One of the yeah, one of the last people. Yeah, definitely, I would say. Like, yeah, ex. young pinch maybe he didn't really get that huge. Yeah, and like fucking people call Ju said Juice World was a was SoundCloud, but I don't really think so. In you think he was in? You think you think he was? I don't like, think he was a plant. I don't think he was a plant. But like, I I don't remember seeing him on SoundCloud that much. Like, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be straight up, bro. I remember when All Girls Are the Same dropped because I was following Juice World's like career. Yeah, I remember. I remember when all girls were the same drop, and it was at like, uh, it was at like five thousand plays, and then like, four, and then like four days later, it was like a million. That's I was it, like, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I remember. I remember somebody sending me that album because I love Juice World. I used to listen to yeah. all the time. I remember yeah. somebody sending me that album, and I just didn't hear of it. I'm like. I can't believe I missed someone who was like calling up. And I was just like yeah, pissed yeah. about it. I was like, <laughs> no, as, as soon as Lil Peep died, like I feel like uh, a lot of people just like started like pop. There was a lot of people that like I started like notice that like they were just popping out of nowhere and that like labels were kind of like pushing really heavy. Like Even I though said, Juice World was assigned to a label, cool, dude. Alternative yeah. became cool and labels gave put the money in. That's and everything yeah. went crazy. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that the, the money wasn't there for it. That's the only yeah. way. Like. No matter what, like you, you said, like I don't like to speak on like the hyper pop digital course scene that much because I'm not super into it. But mm -hmm. even with that kind of music, like now you see the money, right? Like it was cool underground, like for like years ago, mm -hmm. like four, like four years ago when it started like getting popular, and then fucking it started getting plays, and mm -hmm. the labels are fucking in it now, like and now it's yeah. getting now it's huge, <laughs> like it's fucking enormous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. now now people people can just sign a deal for fifty thousand dollars. People can sign distribution deals and all types of stuff. Yeah, and now, like yeah, they can, you can just like you know it, it takes away from the underground, and like it's hard to even um I would say to even get like a real like underground show really going and get people to show up and support. Oh, I, yeah. Like I just don't know where like I, I don't know what happened to like the underground like support for like the, and like I feel like that became like mainstream now. Like I, I, yeah. I don't even think it's real underground. It's just like people just want to dress up like the DIY or whatever you call it. People want to yeah. dress up like that and just like show up to like these places and act like it's underground, but that's not underground. Y'all at a Playboy Cardi concert. Yeah, <laughs> like, right? <laughs> no, the closest thing, I mean, like a real under, you know, Oliver Francis? Yeah. So I went to, I've been listening to Oliver like forever since like Polo Socks dropped like that mm -hmm. long ago. And like, that was like the last probably underground show that I ever went to. Mm. That like had that feeling, right? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It was like in like kind of like a pretty small place and everyone was just like, this is fucking insane that like, Oliver from SoundCloud here. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Other than that, only other time I fucking see shit like that is like local DIY stuff. Mm. Like, and those bands that I go to, like, fucking, there's this place called the Meat Locker in Montclair I went to that, like, it's just all the local bands and shit. And, like, just mad people come out. Our scene's super strong, so it probably varies, like, place to place. Mm. But that's the only place I've seen shit like that where, like, everyone's just like, 
really there for cool music shit. Yeah. Who are, uh, like, you know, what's some features that, uh, you know, people are going to see, like, in the future with the music that you're making? Oh, uh, I don't know. Honestly. I've been, like, because I dropped an album not that long ago. Yeah. Of, like, um, songs I made probably over the last, like, 18 months that I scrapped originally. And I listened to it. To my, I'm really, like, I, I, like, I listen to my music and I'm like, this kind of sucks. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to drop this. And I'll listen to it, like, a year later. I'm like, no. This isn't as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, and, like, yeah. I'll remix it because, like, I learn shit all the time with mixing. Mm. Like, like, every day. So I'll remix it. That was the whole album. Like, I just, like, scrapped it, you listen to it, like, a year later, and I was like, no, nah, this is salvageable, definitely. Mm. And, like, I dropped it. But then since then, I don't know, I've just been listening to a bunch of shit, like, trying to get inspiration <clears> again. I've just been, like, in, in a drought because I'm working a lot now and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And actually just takes up, like, a lot of my, like, energy overall and i'm not even working very often but it's just like like the dj stuff and like i do lighting for like an event company and stuff like that it's mm-hmm. like just long ass days the whole weekend's done and then during the week like i pick up little shit here and there mm-hmm. and i'm just like i don't even feel like making anything but then I, i'm driving around i go and get coffee and i listen to music really loud and i'm like wow I, like i'll have a cool idea and i just won't like bring myself to make it so like i'm just kind of like in that you're like trying party. to like are you, are you trying to like like you know just Find like uh like that balance, like that work. Yeah. And then working on music like balance to get yeah. like yourself like recharged to be creative and stuff. Yeah, it's tough because I'm not a balanced guy. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's not how I live. It's never been how I am. Like when mm-hmm. I get into shit, like I just like fucking zero in on it. Like when I first got a felt, I like locked myself in my college my room in college, like we had a house for like days, just mm-hmm. fucking learning the software. I wasn't even making anything. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, and so like, I just jump into it. So like I guess like when that kind of tails off for me, I'm like I don't know, it's probably not even worth it, whatever, blah blah blah. So now like I don't know, I'm just trying to latch onto it again, I guess. But like that's just not a healthy way to do things, like at all. So like, so like yeah. No, I definitely think that uh, you know, bro, you gotta you definitely gotta find that balance because you really do have like that, like a unique like sound. Even though, cause like you downplay, uh, you downplayed yourself, bro. Cause like <laughs> even though you are making like shit that did sound like it was like back then, bro. Like it, like it's still your sound and it's still your style at the end of the day. Cause like you're 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 like you made it. Like you did all like you know all the shit that you that you know that comes with making a song and. A lot of people try to do that shit and they can't do it because they try to sound like someone else. You don't sound yeah. like anyone else. Thanks. You sound like yourself. So like, like I definitely see you as like uh, someone that can be, you know, that person that's pushing that shit in that scene. You know what I'm saying? And like, that's why like I reached out. I was like, bro, like this dude, like, you know, <laughs> fire, man. Like, so definitely, bro, I definitely want you to just keep on like, you know, trying to find like that balance and be like, try to like, you know, be consistent because it will be dope to see you, you know, like do like like you know selling out those DIY shows because like you're just as I guarantee you probably just as good as like those people that are doing those shows out there that you go and that you go and see and people will fuck with your shit like just as hard you just gotta like you know find like the time to like you know just really like you know invest like like do that shit because you you really got it bro you just gotta you know just find out that, that that balance man just the Thank balance bro yeah and also like since I didn't feel like making songs for like I was like I'm just gonna take a break because like if I come back. So I'm not, like, taking a break, like, an actual fucking hiatus or whatever. Like, I still make shit here and there. Mm-hmm. But, like, I was doing that video and stuff. Like, that shit was, like, that, I don't, for some reason, that, like, took a lot of my, like, mental capacity. We just shot it for, like, 10 hours in a day. Like, I had my boy do it. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, I'm, like, okay, I got to roll this out, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm doing, like, merch stuff. So, like, yeah, I don't know. I'm, like, I'll just do this other shit. And then, like, hopefully when I come back, I'll have, like, ideas i guess mm. well yeah now i'm feeling a lot better like creativity wise it's just like finding the will to sit on my computer and do it without like fucking yeah. taking adderall or something because <laughs> <laughs> bro, just get some caffeine bro you'll be good bro just yeah yeah, bro, yeah get that I, double I, shot espresso bro you'll be fine bro <laughs> yeah I, go to, I, I get i go to i go to my coffee shop every day just it's like like that's like my like touchstone i'm like okay yeah. like this is <laughs> yeah bro um what what are uh you know like so, so when you did like the music video, were those people that were with you uh, in the music video? Are they a part of like your your band? No, I was gonna ask like, bro, are my like... yeah. The, so my, my the drummer is my friend Devin. He's like a very sick musician. We like jam together all the time. He's okay. good at drums, but like 
And my friend Joe, who's on a guitar, hero guitar, he doesn't play music at all. He mm. like he like makes rap songs sometimes. Yeah. Like, because we live together, so we just chill down here and make stupid little songs. Mm. So, <laughs> so like, fucking, we were gonna do like something a little more planned out and professional for those performance shots. Mm-hmm. But those were the last shots of the day, and we were drinking the whole shoot. <laughs> like, so, we like we like get to the part and like my videographer he's a man fucking uh nick p films he's so fucking sick he was like okay like let's do this blah blah, blah. and i'm like getting my stratocaster out giving it to my friend joe who's never touched a guitar in his life and i'm like just kind of look like this and like you know start playing i guess and then the drums are too loud i rented drums from guitar center and we're like in like a huge thing in my backyard they're too loud we can't hear the music so we can play along to it I'm like, all right, fuck this. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're, yeah, we're throwing out the professionalism. I'm like, here's a guitar, your guitar. My friend Joe's like, Devin, like, go get the paper towel rolls and use them as drumsticks. <laughs> so, yeah, we were just really messed up at that point. So, <laughs> hell yeah. But, yeah. Bro, no, I, 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 that's sick, bro. I fuck with yeah, that. I do want to, like, start doing live music because I've done shows and shit, but I do fucking backing tracks. And for the music I make now, especially, because I didn't always make just, like, full instrumental shit like that. Mm-hmm. like i used to make like more all, all pop type stuff where backing tracks were kind of fine mm-hmm. but now like this music i make just isn't the same if i don't have a lot of it so yeah. like, I, I would like to put that together but like everyone i know works everyone i know is really good at music uh fucking works full-time jobs and i work weekends so like, mm-hmm. <laughs> we really can't like we, i've been trying to jam with my friends that we always hang out and play music together like we've been trying to meet up for like a month and we just can't set it up it's just we, I mean, yeah. we've all been working so hard yeah, it gets a little difficult. Um, yeah. All right, so what would you uh, – so who would you say your top five, you know, musicians, like dead or alive, top five musicians? Musicians. Fuck. Uh, I don't know. Matt Skiba, Tom Along. I have to say Travis Barker. I hate saying it because yeah. of what he's done. Yeah. <laughs> How do you – I got another question. Before, finish finish that your top five you already got i think you got one more you got one more um shit i don't know i really can't think i don't really like i think of bands with more than people i don't really think a lot about it yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's good that's good mm-hmm. all right so what, what how do you feel like what do you think uh mgk did to like the the, the scene like how, what do you think he did like <laughs> yeah, you just he, he like you like you listen to his songs right yeah. It's like what I was saying, like, it's just so commodified that, like, like he's talking about kissing girls and bleachers and he's, like, 40, right? Yeah. Like, which is cool, like, Blink-182 does it, but it's because they wrote those songs when they were fucking 18 years old. Yeah. And so, like, and, like, even, like, like it, it's, like, pop music, right? Which is whatever, mm-hmm. like, there have been punk boy bands since fucking forever. Like, yeah. Uh, the Sex Pistols were a boy band. They put them together and, like, you guys look cool. Like, oh, here, here's a guitar. So, like, it's cool if that happens. Like, Simple Plan was kind of like that. But it's all kind of tongue-in-cheek, right? They're like, yeah, we know what we're doing, but it's fun. Mm-hmm. You know, making fun music. MDK just, like, takes himself way too seriously. The lyrics are, like, god-off. Like, I can't listen to anything. Uh, like, yeah, I'm in love with an emo girl, bro. Dude, try- it's, so, it's just so bad. Like, and it's cool. Like, his voice isn't terrible. Whatever, like it could be mid music, that's fine. But it's just Bruh, the lyrics kill it for me. Like I, I look at, I look at like what MGK did to, did to the scene is what he what he tried to do with rap. Like he tried to you know come into rap and you know do the rapper thing. The rapper thing didn't work, so now he wanted to do yeah the punk scene and be like Lil Peep and yeah, literally like, literally dressing like Lil Peep and yeah. like that that was the craziest thing of it. I'm just like, bro, do people think like Lil Peep didn't exist? And yeah, just, right? that's what I was like thinking. I'm just like, bro, like, like, how are we just like letting this just happen? And then, like, you know, people are now catching on a little bit to it. And I was, I'm, I was, I'm not going to say his fan base is dwindling, but people that were fucking with MGK, yeah. where I talk to him now, they're it's not, not fucking with him no more. Yeah, and also like he just had hundreds of millions of dollars behind him. Like, yeah. no matter what, and you can make fucking the worst music on earth. If you have that, you have the marketing to convince people it's good. That's really all you need. Yeah. So yeah. they were like, he was in the spotlight off the Eminem stuff and being a rapper. And they were like, yo, do you want to make a bunch of money? Lil Peep just died and there's like an opening for an alternative superstar. Travis yeah. Barker's in, like, do you want to make a bunch of money? And he's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and like, I can't like, even hate on him. For, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't hate on him for like taking that either. 
Yeah, well, you know, make your money, whatever. Like, I don't. Yeah, like well, I, said, I feel like a lot of people would take that, bro. If they asked me to do, it, I, I would like, fucking take it. I would give a shit. I'd be like, shit, fuck it, bro. Thirty million. Guy, where do I, where do I, I sign the dotted line? I could talk all all the shit I can about how shitty his music is and how lame he is as a person. He is having sexual relations with Megan Fox right now. I'm sitting <laughs> in my basement. Like, like, what the fuck am I gonna say about it? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, the only thing you can say is that his music not original. Yeah, yeah, and it's but sucks. like that will hurt you as an artist, though. That will hurt. That's like like that. That will hurt you as an artist. I don't care what nobody say. You nah, can have I'm... everything in the world, but if you don't have respect from like your uh, music peers and people yeah. that are like that actually fuck with like the scene, if they like see you as like a, a a piece of shit, like or or just like someone that's trying to profit off the scene, yeah. like no matter how much money you make, you're still like he's still fighting for like that. You can see that he's still to fighting be, like, for like, the respect. Right? Like, he wants to be seen as, like, a fucking... And you're just not, dude. You should own it. Like, he should just own it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. He, like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, he should just be like, yo, dude, I'm not like that guy. Well, yeah. uh, and the uh, next question, you know, what what can people expect, you know, fr uh, from you, you know, um, you know, in the future? Um, Hopefully a lot more music. Fucking, I want to... I want to start doing, like, a lot more, like... I don't know. Like, I just want to try a bunch of different shit. Like, I want to hear you and Charlie make something. Yo, I've been, I've been wanting to fucking do that, actually. I He sent me a beat recently. But my thing is, like, uh, my brain is just fucking, like, clogged up or something. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like, I like I get sent some shit, and I'll start recording, and I'll be like, yeah, this is cool. I'll just, like, never look at it ever again. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, I would love to do... I want to do some more just some shit with Seraphim, because I feel like I'm not, like, because I, like, we, I don't know. I don't really have exactly, like, a, a well-meshing sound with them. But it's mm -hmm. there at the same time, right? So, yeah, like, yeah. Like, fucking um, Feedback that me and Charlie made. I don't know if you heard that song. Me and Charlie have a song mm. called Feedback that he produced. And it's, like, one of the sickest songs I've ever made. Yeah. So, like, like, yeah, I don't know. I just have to, like, put more into it. Because right now I'm just burnt out, I guess. But for no reason. Like, I haven't been doing shit. Dude, it's time. that work, bro. Work will work will make work will drain the creativity out of you. Yeah. And like one thing that I like, you know, it's a it's a very important quote. And it's from uh, you know, I was listening to uh, you know, the Joe Rogan experience. This was like three years ago, uh -huh. and this was something that like really like stuck with me. Like Joe Rogan, he said he when he was living in Boston, and he was like broke as fuck, I guess, and he was like uh just just trying to just become like a stand up comic. He was like, after I got off my job, I would treat my like I would treat my hobbies like I'm trying to save my life, and yeah. like that's what you. It's like, a good perspective. Yeah, yeah, like that's how I look at like this shit now. Like, uh, you know, when I'm doing things, I'm like, yo, I really like, you know, I would love to just like, you know, interview artists that I fuck with and create like a big platform to give artists like talk their shit and like, you know, give people like a different perspective on like, you know, what what's like hot in music and stuff. Yeah. Um, but uh yeah, it's like a mindset thing so yeah like, yeah definitely yeah yeah bro we're, i've been laying around too much on my phone like, <laughs> twitter, twitter, twitter ruined me as a person <laughs> <laughs> bro facts man <laughs> <laughs> bro so uh you know where, where can the people find you that want to you know uh, listen to your music and stuff what things you want to plug man i'm at rqd on instagram twitter those are the only two things i really use a r c u t i i because somebody has my name that i've mm -hmm. never met before <laughs> Um, and it's just our QD on everything else, Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, anything. All right, y'all, we had a little short, uh, little technical difficulties, my bad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just want to close it out the right way, man. This is the motherfucking Scotty Show. We just had yeah. our QD. Man, I appreciate you for pulling up, man. I really yeah, can't. No, thanks for having me. No problem, man. I really can't wait to see what you got going on next, man. I'm yeah. definitely, I'm definitely a fan of what you got going on. I'm definitely a fan of your music, and I fuck with your shit. And uh, you know, it's original, man. And like I said, dude, just like you know, like treat this shit like you're trying to save your life, bro. Because you're really good at it, man. Like Thank you me. really, you're really good at it, bro. Don't give that shit up, man. Like for real, for real, man. Don't let work consume you, bro. For real. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And no problem. Yeah, uh, it'll it'll fall into place. I'll, I'll never stop. Nobody stops. Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, yeah, bro. I'm not, I'm not saying you stop, bro, but like, yeah, like yeah, bro, yeah. it was just sounding like you know, he was like, oh, bro, don't let, don't let the work go, don't let the work get you, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, because you definitely, you definitely got it, man. You got like, you know, you got it. You know what I'm saying? You got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to explain, you know, when someone has it. You know what I'm saying? All you can say is you got it. You know? <laughs> yeah, man.
Uh, but uh, other than that, man, um, what what uh, you know, people that don't you know that don't know about your music, what would you say you know to someone that hasn't heard your music? What would be a song that you would recommend to them? Oh, uh, damn! Uh, you can name a few songs if you want to name any songs. Listen, listen to "It's Okay" and "Leave Me Alone" because they're very different songs, and but they're they're pretty much the both sides of the spectrum of the kind of music that I make. Hell yeah! And they're both very good. I promise. <laughs> All right, man. Like I said, man, the Scotty Show, our cutie, shout out Seraphim. Um, man, I can't, like I said, same shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> can't wait to see what you got going on, bro. Good this is the Scotty Show, our cutie. Thanks for, thanks for pulling up, homie. Appreciate you. Thank you. Peace.